Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the sixth video on Py ATS. Here in this video, we'll see what is Learn Device feature in Py ATS. And this will help to validate the state of a protocol, interfaces or feature. You can see here, stateful network validation of device features such as protocols, interface, line cards and other hardware. This will give the stateful validation data and it learns the operational state by executing series of commands. So by default, this library knows what are the commands to execute. And if you want to see the supported features, you can go to the model page and here we should be able to see the features supported. For example, if you want to learn OSPF, by default, this will have set of show commands to execute and learn the feature from the device. And this is the data model what we are going to receive. And here we can see all the show commands it is executing to get the current operational state of particular protocol. And here we can use even the mock device for testing this. So first we will test it using a mock device and then we will look into one of the real device. And we will see how to write a python script also to learn a particular feature. So we will go to the mock directory and then we are going to learn OSPF first. And here you can see the testbed file is going to be mock.yml. So I have to be in the mock directory to execute this line then the entire output is getting stored into one directory called output folder so i'll copy this go to the terminal so i'm already into the mock directory so i'll paste it and here instead of directly storing into mock directory i'll create one more folder inside that learn files and inside that way I'll store this data. So this is going to learn OSPF feature from Nexus device. So now this is trying to connect to the device. And this will be generating three files. This is the connection log. Then here we will have the entire data in a python dictionary format the past output and here we'll have the console log the show command outputs so we'll go and verify that so inside mock folder it is learn files output folder and we have three files here this will have the connection data so this was trying to connect to the mock nexus device then another file is the console output so you can see here all the show commands it executed and passed then this contains the output in a dictionary format this we will be using later for snapshot or comparison feature so this data is really important and in the documentation we can see some details and you can even learn multiple features so earlier we were learning only OSPF now we will try learning even BGP. Let me try adding BGP also here. Yeah, now here you can see even the BGP related 
files. And here also we are getting the data in a dictionary format. Now we'll see how to learn feature from a real device. I will use the device CSR 17.3 for testing this. And I'll use the same command syntax pi ATS space learn we will try to learn so we'll verify from this document we'll try to learn the interface first the interface properties this model will take interface and then testbed file is inside We have a directory called YAML, so I need to here also I need to come out of mock directory and I'll copy paste this again. YAML and my testbed.yaml and I'll give devices and CSR 17.3 space hyphen hyphen output. Then here also I'll create a directory. Learn files and CSR underscore interface. Now we'll try running this. So now this is connecting to CSR 17.3 and we have a new folder called learn files and here we should be able to see the content. So this is trying to read the entire configuration data, the interface configuration. and we can see some IPs configured and if you SSH to the device and verify it so gigabit 2 is having IP 22.2 .2. and that is showing here so gigabit 2 is having true and here we have a lot more information available later we'll see how to do even the comparison of this and how to take a snapshot now we'll try to learn some more features same like that we'll try learning static route so here i'll give static route and this also I can change to static routing and we can run it and we'll have one more directory here with the current status of the static route same way if you want to learn all the features all the available features we can give learn all and I'll give all features it will take more than one minute it is trying to read all the features so I will pause the video 
now this has completed learning all the features from CSR and if we go to the directory and we'll have all the features files it is like a snapshot of all the features which is supported in this particular model and if you want to get multiple device outputs we can even add another device here VIOS 61 and we can give router features and this will connect to both devices it will take time since we have given all so I'll cancel this now we will try writing a python script to get and learn all these features first we will write for mob device so inside this I'll create a python file zero two underscore mock device learn and uh, we can take a copy of this after that we will learn OSPF from the mock device so I will call this a variable OSPF underscore L learn then dev dot learn and I can give OSPF then let us try printing OSPF And this is executing all these commands and in the end you can see it is an OSPF object so it is a pi 80s OSPF object and if you try printing the DIR of this we'll get all the methods supported and here to get this in a proper dictionary format we have a method here to dict so we need to give that so i'll print ospf l dot to underscore dict and now we will be getting the data in a proper dictionary format and you can store this into a file and compare it later so this will be same content what we have received here for all the operation status and now we are getting the OSPF data in a proper dictionary format and now we will write a script to connect to the real device and I'll go to my python script directory here I'll create a new file 0 to underscore learn demo and I'll copy this and here the file name is going to be different so one directory down I have a yaml and inside that I have my testbed.yaml file and device name is csr-17.3 and then we are connecting to the device Here we will try to learn the interface 
learn underscore int equal to dev dot learn and we'll try giving first interface and we will try printing learn interface dot to dictionary and here now we are able to see the interface properties in a dictionary and same way if you want to learn the static route you can change it here and using with open method you can write this into a particular file and earlier we have seen how to hide this if you want to hide this entire terminal output we have some option here that also we have seen the previous video let me go back to that previous documentation you're customizing your connection and from here if we give log std out false this will not print all these terminal outputs and we'll try giving that here So now we are not getting any terminal output, we are getting only the past configuration data. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand what is learned feature in Py ATS and how to execute that from Py ATS CLI and Python script. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. In the next video, we will see how to configure the device using PyATS.